And now we are graced once again with the presence of Phil Engeroff. Doesn't seem to be any change in his stoicism. Walking up to the inspection lane. Both fighters, I don't know what sort of uh, visual feed they get from the back to be able to get a little bit of last minute tape on their opponents. But I have to expect that both guys probably were reasonably impressed with what they saw from each other. Yeah, for the most part. And I think as well, they, they probably have been studying the potential opponents that they may be facing in preparation for this. So I'm sure, generally speaking, in their time off, just like you said earlier, trying to catch their breath, get those electrolytes in them, trying to reclaim some of that energy. Yeah, I don't know what sort of electrolytes they prefer. You can go BioSteel, you can go Gatorade, you can go Powerade. Heck, you can go Prime if you want to throw Logan Paul a little bit of extra money that he doesn't need. But <laughs> all of that is going to be very important. I hope for that $5,000, they, they get a little bit of tax exemption status on that as well. Because these guys are fighting twice in a night. Like 99.9% .9 of the population couldn't touch that. I think, I think they deserve a little bit of a break from the CRA, don't you think? Agreed. Absolutely. And Agreed. This is the final round Does the CRA agree? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. Hopefully some of them are in the stands and they, they can appreciate the artistry that's on display here. <laughs> If there is not a unanimous decision winner, there'll be a third and final round of overtime sudden death. Introducing first out of the blue corner, Ali Reza Jadini! And fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Phil Engram! Minimal warm-up needed for these two. Hopefully minimal scars and bruises coming into this from their previous fights. We got $5,000 on the line. Let's go. Oh. Two hooks land for Ali Jadidi. He was landing those super well on Lee Walton before, trying to continue that momentum here. Getting right in Engeroff's face, landing a bunch of these short punches in the clinch. They get broken up after catching the kick and throwing a right hand. Jadidi trying to keep this fight nice and close. Short, quick strikes as Engeroff has shown himself to be deadly from distance. Oh. Looks like he stung anger off there. Already some red coming up on the left side of his face. Oh, Didi with the spinning back fist. <laughs> Haven't seen any since his last fight. There you go, you got one more. <laughs> oh, and we're seeing his full catalog of tricks here. This is just a straight up dirty boxing approach from Ali Jadidi. He's throwing a couple of kicks in there too, but just getting right in there. And these short little punches, they can really sap you if you're the guy on the receiving end of them. Oh. Oh. Landing often is Ali Jadidi, Angaroff. Throwing a few back, but 
not nearly to the same degree as he's getting pushed into the ropes all over the place here. Jadidi, just a phenomenal gas tank. Maybe he, mo maybe he moonlights as a marathon runner too because he doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. Landing a ton of those body shots from in close as well. He's trying to go and anger off. And he's so confident in his head moving too. The way that he sticks his chin out there and then just goes to work with those multi-punch combinations. He's goading him on. He loves it and then throws the flurry of counters. Just daring Angarov to throw one at him. This is elite level work. And then he throws the axe kick out of nowhere. Just such an entertaining fighter to watch. So impressive. That's the clapper for near the end of the round. Jadidi putting a little bit more of an exclamation mark on what has been a very productive round for him. Wow. <laughs> so safe to say, Jadidi had a pretty good recovery routine in the back. Looks absolutely fresh. You would not have thought for a second that he went through two rounds prior to this. Yeah, continues to look dialed in and was able to dictate the pace there a ton throughout that fight, or excuse me, throughout that first round. I like the strategy too of the corner hiking the legs up so that you get the blood flow running back a little bit. Really important to have if you're a kickbox because as you've seen, those legs just get punished brutally time and time again. So if you can get a little bit of that blood flow going back the other way, it starts to relieve the swelling just long enough to keep you going until the end of the fight. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Oh. He just keeps his head up, head up the whole time, Jadidi. He sees everything, throws two, three, four punches at a time, and then he's able to get out of the way when the counter comes. And Angarov needs a big round here as well. Yeah, he really does. You have to suspect Jadidi won round one, so if Angarov wants to see a third one, he needs to get the... The W here. Does seem to be a little bit more the aggressor this time around. Coming forward, landing some shots to the head. Oh, and he just needs to be. <laughs> and if he does get this to a third round, he's got to be the most exhausted guy in the room. No doubt. He has already the most miles of anybody tonight. But doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, whoo! Jadidi timed that high kick well as Engeroff was pushed into the ropes. Once again, just getting nice and close. Short punches before a nice looping hook. Seems to be getting a little bit close to the back of the head. Luckily, nothing landing flush there. Still pressing forward is Jadidi. Anger off with a little bit more luck, though. Oh, this is some hard punishment from the clinch. Oh. And it does appear that Engeroff is blocking a lot more of these. Jadidi is landing at a, the same consistent pace from the clinch, but not many of these are landing flush. Engeroff is able to block a lot of these and land a few knees of his own from the clinch. So whatever adjustments he's making, they are working. Jadidi sneaking in an uppercut that lands there, though, just before that. Clamp. Yeah, now Jadidi's changing it up. Engeroff is shelling up for these straight punches, so he's getting some looping hooks in there, breaking the guard a little bit. Get on, get on. 
And once again, Shahidi with some great gamesmanship here. Dancing around with his head. Clear as day of a target before he slips it out of the way. Really must be irritating for an opponent to have to deal with that. There's so much confidence. And once again, a great stamp and a combo from Ali Jadidi, who thinks he's done enough to win this fight. We'll see if the judges agree or not here. Corner's getting ready for a third round. If that eventuality comes, frantically checking to see. My lip reading isn't great. It looks like the fight is done. So we are going to get a decision after two rounds. Assuming it is, Jadidi here, well deserved, but I got I wanted a third round, to be honest. I, I wanted to see more of this. I say this in the best way possible. He looks like a guy that's been in here for like 30 fights. Just the confidence that he has to stick his head out, get it out of the way just in time, and then land endless combinations. His gas tank is phenomenal. Kind of reminds me of uh, UFC fighter Marab Davalashvili, a guy that just comes forward nonstop and never seems to get tired. Just really impressive work. We talk about never seeming to get tired. Like, he looks like he could still fight another one. All well, if his hand is indeed raised, he's going to have no trouble lifting up that giant check. We'll make it official here. There, please come to the ring when you hear your name. Bobby Nagra, UEM Cannabis, MediWorks, Suki Tami, Nabi Badesha, and Gora Mike. And we have MLA Bruce Batten in the house as well. And can Mr. Bruce Bannon please report to the ring as well? Coach Mike also to the ring, Coach Mike. And look at that celebration. What a hard fought victory by Ali Reza Jadidi. Sponsor, Suki Rajkil from Mid Valley Insurance, Bobby Nagra Homes, UEM Cannabis, and MediWorks, Suki Tami, Nabi Badisha, and Gora Mike, Coach Mike. We have MLA, Mr. Bruce Bannon, and Mamba Fight Yi. Big thank you to all the fighters in the tournament. All fought really well. Please round of applause for all four fighters. What a gauntlet you got to go through to win that $5,000. And you look at some of the 
battle wounds there on Jadidi. You were pointing out, man, oh man. I mean, look, being a fighter is hard. You don't necessarily get the compensation that you deserve at any level for the amount of work that you put in. So when you see a guy walk away with $5,000 like this, it really is just heartwarming, not just to the guy itself, but for everybody out there that is involved in this sport, because you're all cheering for each other in the end. No matter what sort of opponent you're facing, you all want to see the fighters get paid. Definitely. Everyone just wants to see everybody excel to that next level. And something like this certainly doesn't hurt. Yeah, could not be happier for 